Hey, good afternoon. It's about 2.45 on a Sunday. Just got off here at the Prokinong exit. I am going to walk up the way. The W District is just up on the left. And then I believe the main street is Soy 71, just going by memory. I'm going to go up 71, and there's a little side street, which I've uh, been on a motorbike a couple of times, and there's a bunch of low-rise buildings, a real interesting-looking street. So let's go check out Prokinong. And I'm not sure if I've ever explored these two buildings just feet from uh, Prokinong BTS. I'm not sure how you get down there. I don't think you can get there from uh, that entrance. But let's go check out that building. Whenever I get off here, I am always heading up to the W District. So I've kind of not really explored right at the base of uh, the BTS. And right as you come down the stairs from Prokinong, there's uh, an office complex off to the left. There's a Texas chicken. The first street is Soy 69. I know there's a post office right there, almost on the corner. Just a short way up Sukhumvit on the right is where Rama 4 connects. And those buildings you see on the other side, I'm not sure what that first building is, but behind that are the life on Sukhumvit 48. Again, we're on 69 on this side. The numbers don't match up the further you get down, odd and even. But that life 48, really nice building and there's another aspire property right to the side of the life great little bar i hang out at over there called the money bar it's a real neighborhood feel especially in that money bar you'll see the same guys in there night after night which is kind of cool it's it's a neighborhood feel but i am going to take a fast uh, left here on 69 and see what those uh two low-rise buildings where i've been on this street so maybe i have seen them but I don't recall I know up here these motorbikes are probably going to take a right turn and that is uh, where the W district is not far maybe two blocks away and here's the parking lot of the post office and the post office at least this one is open on Sunday until 7 or 8 p.m. And here's a snooker club. I apologize, I forget who it was. They were asking me about uh, snooker. And I told them there are a couple of spots around town. Here's the one on uh, Soy 69. All right, so those two or three towers I saw off the uh, BTS are called the Bangkok Phillies. Maybe a two minute walk to BTS. And there's a moving truck. These uh, Thai homemade kind of camper shells they put these trucks to work i mean he'll fill that thing to the roof if he has to a walk to the end of this soy it looks like it dead ends but here's the uh, little alley head down this a short ways and the w district is on the right this alley traditionally has been uh, a lot of japanese little karaoke bars and uh, what do they call japanese snack bars but a new place just opened. Ooh, and I, oh, and I'm already forgetting the name. Uh, Fishbone. Fishbone down on the left. Nice little uh, bar with a two or three piece band. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's uh, an American Thai guy who uh, just opened that place six months ago. I've been in there two or three times. Oh, and I have been down this street. There's not uh, many streets I've missed, but uh, where these motorbikes are popping out. There's a pretty hardcore UFC Muay Thai style gym. Here's the other Bangkok Phillies. You can kind of get a, an idea of the size of the apartments. Small balcony. Maybe a six story building. But it's pretty quiet uh, back here even though you're 200 feet from busy Sukhumvit. Just the fact that it, uh, well, it's kind of a dead end road. It is a dead end. It does go off to the right and there's a bunch of businesses, but I think looking down the way is the end of the line. When people are very resourceful over here, if, if there's a way to get through there to whatever the next major street is, they're gonna use this like a highway. Not that big a deal, but uh, if you want a nice quiet street, you need to pick your spots. I'm gonna go ahead and explore to the end of uh, the street here. 
And if my memory is correct, okay, it's not. Yeah, I thought, uh, okay, it's the next uh, little soy. These are just some uh, three or four story walk up homes. But yeah, what I was thinking of was uh, this office complex off to the right. And I'll run down there and give you a peek of that. I'm gonna call it a more hardcore gym. I don't think it's uh, air conditioned or anything like that. It's just uh, for a hard workout. And I don't see the name of this building. Okay, it's a uh, MT&T building. It's businesses. For some reason, I thought that was uh, a condo complex. But the S69 on Tsukumvit 69 has all these uh, businesses. And that place is called Training Ground. The Movement Playground. Some skin care. An eye place. So it looks like uh, we'll come back and take a look. Looks like we we're dead ending, or it's a dead end down here, but it could take a bit of a right turn. So I'm gonna go check it out. Big beautiful uh, compound on the left. And a few people have mentioned they open up a separate Google page and then just put pins. Say you're interested in that gym. Well, look up this. Is that Chavanik building? And you'll know exactly where I'm at. It's not that complicated, especially running up uh, Sukhumvit. It's so can bet one to whatever it goes, halfway across Thailand. But we are on 69. Yeah, it does look like it might take a little bit of a right turn. And there's an example of a, a nice large style Thai home right in the center of Bangkok, complete with its own little guard tower. Okay. See, that's the thing. Well, it says it dead ends. Maybe it dead ends right there. I uh, have been down this street many times. You can see Sukhumvit just at the end, and I just assumed it dead end, went into this office complex and took off. But you just need to take the time to keep walking. I'm not sure how uh, much further it goes. But somebody's uh, did some nice artwork. Tiger, tiger, tiger. I'm not sure what this is. It's some kind of a some kind of a business with a nice paint job. But it looks like it used to be a business for rent. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna find around these corners. There might be a cool little building that's this is a five minute walk from BTS. But this appears to be all businesses. There's a guard down there, but I'm still gonna walk down. That's all in Thai. And this is in Thai, so I'm not sure what the business is. I hear a bunch of refrigerated trucks. And another business down the way. Yeah, it's probably not worth walking down, but I'm still going to do it. Yeah, it's just a business, so we're going to turn around, but you got to do it. You never know. There could have been, uh, or may have been, excuse me, it's getting a little hot, uh, six-story building tucked away back here and that'd be a nice place to live now getting our bearings that building with the round it's a restaurant kind of sky view up top that is where the w district is right on sukhumvit very popular dining spot it's uh, a notch above street food it's permanent little trailers or i won't call them uh, shacks just just little structures where they're cooking up everything from Indian food, of course, all the Thai options, but you'll find everything in there. There's a pretty good uh, Mexican food, and I know that uh, guy is from Mexico City. He told me he came over on vacation 30 years ago and, and never left. So we're walking back out. That Sukhumvit straight ahead where that uh, SUV is turning in. You can see the BTS there pulling into Prakanong Station. Where the SUV is, he's pulling into that one of those Feliz buildings. Here's the Chavanek building, and where this car just pulled out, we're going to take a left and go in there. From what I remember, it's just a warehouse area, other than that uh, one pretty cool gym down the way. Yeah, there it is. This is a coffee place with the training ground. 
And this is something design. Looks to be a furniture store. And if you were interested in this area and you needed a daycare, I think that's what that movement playground is at the end. Oh, I forgot the artwork on the uh, side of the gym. And normally there's, uh, and it's hot right now, there's people uh, running around carrying dumbbells. Kind of a hardcore uh, ah, CrossFit type gym. I don't want to be rude sticking a camera in uh, people's faces as they work out, but, but you get the point. It's Sunday afternoon, so this will be more popular in the cooler evening, especially outdoor-like, but you're going to get a hard workout. I'm sure they also offer all kinds of classes. Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu is very popular. Plus, with... Uh, with all the hype around UFC, you'll find UFC training everywhere in the world, including here in Bangkok. Another good option is uh, up on Sukhumvit Soy 30 and a half. There is a condo, I want to say it's called the Waterford Diamond, and they have a very popular, it's even labeled as a UFC gym, up on the 20th floor, whatever it is. I looked at a couple of apartments in there and wandering through that gym, just at two o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday, there was a class of uh, 20 going, so it's a popular spot. And we're coming back out onto Soy 69. We'll take that little left turn, head past all those Japanese uh, karaoke places, and I'll give you a real quick view of the W. It's going to be empty at, uh, it's not even three o'clock in the afternoon. There'll be a few people in there, but the W, that's the place to go when the sun goes down. Really, uh, that's the place to go anywhere in Bangkok when the sun goes down. I'm out wandering around in, uh, in the heat of the day, but uh, not a big deal. I uh, like this Bangkok Feliz. A couple of towers to choose from. Nice easy walk to Prakanong if you're a commuter. Very easy walk to the W District. And just on the other side of the W District couple of my favorite spots attached to the walking bridge from W to the other side you'll find PJ O'Brien's Irish pub same owner as the O'Shea's and Royal Oak over on Sukhavit Soy 33 slash 1 he also owns shenanigans in the Pat Pong area up off Shilom let's take a that right there is Sukhavit and the uh, you can see the BTS tracks so this is the little side alley that runs parallel. I'm not sure if it's a, probably a Soy 69 address where that large building is, that Soy 71. But we're gonna head up just the alley and then I'll give you a quick peek of uh, the W District. This is a Masura Japanese store. They have a lot of figurines and games. I've never been in there, just looking from the outside. This is kind of a busy little alley. Like I said, it's a shortcut to uh, avoid the traffic on Sukhumvit. Say you're heading up to 71, well, they'll just zip up this alley. So you got to watch your uh, who's coming up from behind. NP Relax Massage. You'll find many massage places. Here's a beauty shop. Thai and Japanese food. Itzy Bar and Snack. And I'm not sure what Vallava International is. It, it looks like it's a coffee bar. And on the other side are two or three more Japanese karaoke or snack bars. They definitely have a feel like you're just in some back road in the Ginza. They're closed right now, but they'll, they'll be going late into the evening. Now here's a place called the Aqua Stella Darts Bar. And right next door, so I guess the alley is part of 71, the region on 71. I have stuck my head back here. I want to say it's just a four-story apartment complex. Yeah, it's just a couple little towers. There's a guard everywhere. So I don't want to uh, 
confuse anybody? Hey, can I go back there just to take a picture? It's really not worth the discussion. Okay, well, that's a little funny because that building said it's the Regent 71. Then right here, and I think this is new, is the backyard. But this says Sukhumvit 69. And if it's... There was another backyard around town. So I'm not sure if they're associated, but you can see there's a ton of seats in there. If it's anything like the other backyard, it was a good uh, burger spot. But this definitely looks like a, a nice bar. The next time we come up... And my buddy lives uh, right here by W, so we go down to that fishbone. We'll have to uh, make a backyard run. Right next door is a, a clinic. A lot of Botox and, and, yeah, Botox filler, laser clinic. A lot of that around town. Uh, then, let's see, snack bar and karaoke. And then a uh, rustic place called the Sukhumvit Mansion. And this looks like a cool little restaurant. It's called Rose Lane. Nakasu Karaoke Bar. And the K, Snack Bar and Karaoke, Japanese style. And the Ginza Snack, it says they're having a second anniversary party. Next to Genjo. And what is that? The Niku, Niku Show Sukhumvit 71. Beautiful CRF. Some nice Hondas around town with... Uh, an FMF exhaust. I remember those guys. Uh, I think they were in Anaheim for the longest time. They were always uh, a big part of my motocross back in the 80s. And here's Fishbone Live Music Bar. Now this is a fun spot. This is the W District just on the right. So if you make a trip to W, stick your head in the alley over here and... Uh, Explore some of these little bars, but Fishbone should probably be your first stop. Happy hour until 8 p.m. Draft beer, Tiger 80, Heineken 90, Guinness 200. 200 bot for a uh, uh, Guinness pint. Now that's a happy hour price. That's still pretty good for Bangkok. Everything costs a little bit more with the rents and all. And here's a, what is this? Breakfast, lunch, Italian dish, coffee, pastry. Huh, little bakery next to a dispensary and then we're getting down to the busy soy 71 but we're going to end the video here i'm just going to give you a quick peek in uh, w district one more tak snack and karaoke and another one next door and then a place called delta nine which i think yep yeah, it's a dispensary so just before we get to 71 this is the uh well, that's the no motorbike deal, so don't trip on that. But this is the W District. Again, it's going to be empty at uh, 3 in the afternoon. A couple of people eating. I'm even seeing a lot of the uh, businesses closed up. There's just uh, there's just not a lot of traffic here at uh, 3 in the afternoon. But this will all be full. Yeah, the Mexican place is open. That's the Mexican food. This will just be bumper-to-bumper -bumper people. These are actually all... Uh, uh, waiters. So when you sit down, they'll just come running over to bring you a beer or a smoothie, whatever you want. That's one of my favorites on the end there. <clears throat> Excuse me, holy smokes. Really good uh, ribs and barbecue. I want to say he's up on soy 49 and I see some smoking going on there, but I think that's the main restaurant. And then they either run brisket or whatever they they have over here this is another good one next to the indian food cooper steakhouse you'll get a small portion kind of diced up but cheap whatever it is less than 300 baht so this is the w district they are starting to put a little bit of of rain cover uh years gone by you just wouldn't come here during the rainy season it during the rainy season season it's gonna rain 99% of the time from 4 or 5 p.m. until 7, 8, 9 p.m. Every day it's going to rain a little bit and uh, they're making a little bit of an effort. Over here it's open other than the uh, trees. But yeah, try not to head down to the W uh, when you know it's going to rain or you're going to get wet. Although these are brand new. My buddy lives over here somewhere. I think that's his building. Yeah, so I would be 
down here in the W District eating all the time. It's, it's going to cost a little bit more than street food, but not much more. And it's just kind of a, a fun place to hang out. Now, this is a grilled cheese cart, which is a... Now, it's not terribly expensive, but I'm looking at uh, 160, 160, 200. I don't know. I came. I used to come up here with my one friend, and she loved the grilled cheese. And I was just kind of like, why are you, why are you wasting time on grilled cheese? <laughs> There's so many places to, you know, get good barbecue or good food in here. But she loved the grilled cheese. So that's a little peek around Soy 69, walking up to the W District. I appreciate you watching. You have a great afternoon and more videos to come.